Hello, newly appointed Vice President Michael Cassio. Why, thank you, Mr. President. I'm so glad to be working with you. In these next four years, <laughs> I'm sure our economic plan will prevail and we will end our conflicts with the French. Well, have you assembled the cabinet yet? I heard you still needed a Secretary of State and Secretary of Treasury. Well, yes, I've chosen Amelia to be the Secretary of State. She has an excellent reputation. And the Treasury Department? For that, I've chosen Iago. He's the best fit for the job. But, sir... I know, I know. There have been some theories in the past about his ideas and his idea that the congressional approval isn't necessary for state debt. But his plans do work. Well, they work because they're illegal. His methods are a complete breach of national regulations. I heard that last year the people were completely convinced that he was embezzling national funding. I know, I know, but his views have changed. I need someone for the job, and I always the best man for the job. I still don't trust him. Well... Oh, Desdemona, have you met the First Lady? No, I haven't. Yeah? Okay, I'll be right there. I have to go. Well, it's nice to meet you, Lady Desdemona. You as well! Um, oh, sorry, I have to go. Bye. Hello, Vice President Cassio. Nice to meet you. Secretary Iago at your service. Secretary Iago, how nice to meet you. Yeah. So, first day on the job? Yes, and yours too? No, I've been a part of several cabinets. You'd think I would have been chosen for vice president by now, but you know. I'm so excited to work with you for the next four years. I abhor him already. I'll get him removed from the cabinet if it's the last thing I do. I'll get him removed from the vice presidency if it's the last thing I do. Ah, Vice President Cassio, I've been meaning to speak with you. Desdemona? About what? The French policy. You see, I've been discussing this policy with Secretary of State Amelia and the French ambassador. I think after long ruminion, we've reached the answer. Which is? To stop them from seceding from the alliance, we've decided to put a new alliance in place. A more select, confidential alliance. The ambassador believes that French w the French will agree to this since the root of their problem was the size of the alignment. What do you think? It's perfect. As long as they agree, we'll be able to keep our French allies. Just one question. Yes? Why were you working on this and not President Othello? Wasn't he at the meeting? Oh, he was there. He, he didn't look good. He looked so upset. I saw him beforehand outside with Secretary Iago and he looked at me and he was enraged as if it was my fault <laughs> why don't cry dear i'm sure he's not mad at you there did you see him what i did not mr president i just witnessed vice president cassio hugging your wife desdemona oh yes and then seeing you cassio fled no wait how can i know if i can leave you Mr. President, I can assure you, I will get you proof of this. <sighs> Othello, my dear, I must speak with you. No, I cannot. Othello, what's wrong? No, it's nothing, my dear. This headache over the French alignment is killing me. It's just making me irrational. Here, take this. It's the, uh, secrets about Area 51. This will take your mind off the French. Thank you, my dear. Okay, good. I feel much calmer. Is this the flash drive that Lady Desdemona had? Why did she give it to Othello? I'm the Secretary of State. This belongs with me. Secretary Iago. Secretary Amelia. Do you remember when you asked me to get the First Lady's Area 51 flash drive? Yes? Mr. President, I must speak with you for a moment. Sorry, Secretary. I'm very busy. It's about Desdemona. What has she done now? 
And you have proof? Not proof yet, but I have a secondary source. Secretary of State Amelia was with Desdemona before, during, and after the meeting. She must know something. I'll talk to her immediately. Mr. President, I heard you wanted to speak with me. Is this about the French Alliance? I promise, sir, it will work. It must work. I have... Stop. It's done. I don't want to talk about the Alliance anymore. I want to talk to you about the First Lady. You. Desdemona? Precisely. I wanted to ask you, have you spoken? With her? No, not since the meeting earlier. Okay, well, I want to ask you... This is difficult. I have reasons to believe she's having an affair with Vice President Michael Cassio. No! President Othello, I refuse to believe that Lady Desdemona is having an affair. Lady Desdemona is loyal, honest, and most certainly not having an affair with Cassio. So she's lying too? I can't trust anyone except for Yago. Rodrigo, just the man I needed to see. Secretary Iago, how goes the plan? What plan? How do you know? I haven't told you yet. The plan to get me a Desdemona? What? Desdemona. Desdemona, the first lady. I know who Desdemona is. I'm working on it, but I need a favor. You already took all my money. No, not money. I need you to fight Vice President Cassio. Why? He's such a nice guy. She's having an affair with Vice President Cassio. Where is he? Calm down. Well, don't. But wait. Why? Because it would be pointless. First, I need to gain President Othello's trust and make him choose me for replacement of Vice President. When I'm ready, I'll text you. Come and be ready to fight. I'll be ready to kill. Mr. President, I spoke to Amelia. She told me that Desdemona would have no reason to be disloyal. Then, Mr. President, she must be in on it. Perhaps she's even the one covering them. My entire cabinet has turned against me. I can't trust anyone. Not Amelia, not Cassio, and certainly not Desdemona. I can only trust you, Iago. Mr. President, may I have a favor? Perhaps I can persuade you. If you grant me this favor, Desdemo Desdemona will once again be yours. What do you need? Summon Vice, Pres summon, Vice, summon Vice President Cassio to this office immediately. Mr. President, you called? Secretary Iago wanted to speak with you. You? What do you want? A confession! What? You heard him. Confess. Mr. President, you want proof of his confession? I can get it out of him, so long as you leave. Leave? Go just outside the door. Listen, but do not be seen. I want him gone. Iago. 
Cassio, how could you think this true? I've always said how untrustworthy Secretary Iago is, and now you've let him on our cabinet. Look, he's the liar. No, I believe Iago. He's the only one I can trust. How could you? How could you trust Iago, the most dreadful, deficient, devious secretary the White House has ever seen, yet not trust your own faithful wife? You know what? I agree. Mr. President, why is your wife crying in the hall? I don't know. Why would I know? Because she's your wife. <laughs> not anymore. What was that? And what are those? You're getting a divorce? Where is this coming from? Divorce? I don't know what you're talking about. So did you hear? They found Agent Rodrigo's personal phone. And? Well, it turns out he was with Secretary Iago after all. Really? Yep. We've been told if we see Iago that we should turn him into the boss. So, if we see him, for example, over there, we should get him. Yeah. So, let's do that.